Okay, we're going to do one more exam question on this before we move on to the next part. So it says, figure one shows the design for a new type of security wheel nut for a car. The inner circle has a radius of five millimetres and the outer circle has a radius of 10 millimetres. The curve between the two circles is modelled by this equation between zero and two pi and R is also measured in millimetres. So we've got everything in millimetres so far. The regions R1 and R2 are shown shaded in figure one and both regions must be coated in a special paint. The region R1 is enclosed between the outer circle and C. Okay, well we can see that and R2 is enclosed by the inner circle. Find the area that must be coated in the special paint according to the model and give your answer in centimeters squared to two decimal places. So we're actually gonna do this whole bit here in millimeters. And then at the end, we're going to find out what it is when we convert it to centimetres squared. We're not going to convert it to centimetres to begin with, because that would be too confusing. Now, we actually looked at this one a while ago, and the strategy for this question, if I can find it, it's all the way up here, was to do the strategy for this. You would do the area of the outside circle, you would remove the wiggly shape, but then you would need to add back inside the inner circle that we've got here. So that's the strategy that we're going to be using for this. Let's go down to the question that we've got. So the strategy for this, and if you're not sure about how I explained this, there's an earlier video that will help you with that. It's um, in the video that says uh, harder strategies. So the strategy is going to be the area of the big circle minus the area of the squiggle shape, which is terribly drawn, plus the area of the small circle. OK, so first of all, let's work out the area of the large circle. The area of the large circle is going to be pi times the radius squared, and the large circle has a radius of 10, so it's pi times 10 squared, or it's 100 pi. The area of the small circle, which is also going to be added, is going to be pi times 5 squared, which is 25 pi. And so now we're going to work out the area of the squiggle. So the area of the squiggle shape. And this is going to be equal to, well, we can either, if we think about this as being the pole here, we could either do it between zero and two pi, or we could just do it between zero and pi and then double it. So I think we're just gonna do it between zero and pi, and then we're gonna double that. So it would be a half the integral of r squared between zero and pi d theta and doubling it, which is obviously just going to be the integral between zero and pi of r squared d theta. So it's 7.5 plus 1.5 cos 6 theta. So that's 7.5 plus 1.5 cos 6 theta squared. That's r squared. And that's going to be with respect to theta. Now, 7 over 5, sorry, 7.5 is 15 over 2 and 1.5 is obviously 3 over 2 that might be useful for when we're doing this squaring part so 7.5 squared is going to be 15 over 2 squared which is going to be 225 over 4 we're then going to have 3 over 2 times 15 over 2 times 2 so actually I'm just going to do it as decimal 7.5 times 1.5 times 2 so it's going to be 45 over 2 cos 6 theta. And then we're going to have the 1.5 squared. So it's going to be 9 over 4 cos squared 6 theta. And that's all going to be integrated with respect to theta. So we're going to use our rearranged double angle formula. We're going to have 9 over 4, a half plus a half cos well, we've got to make sure you double the angle, the argument, so we get 12 theta. So 0 and pi. I'm going to do this a little bit quicker just to save me an extra line. I'm going to do the, the 9 over 4 and the half, which is 9 over 8 plus the 225 over 4. So I've got the 9 over 8 plus 225 over 4. 9 over 8 plus 225 over 4, so it's 4, 5, 9 over 8. And then I've got the 45 over 2 cos 6 theta. And I've also got the 9 over 8 cos 12 theta. Now, if you want to, you could take out the over 8. Um, I don't know if it's going to do that much, but we can do. 
I'm, I'm probably going to leave it in. I'm, uh, you can try it and see if you prefer it either way. I'm going to just leave it in though. So I'm going to get 459 over 8 theta. Well, it's going to be sine of 6 theta. I'm going to divide by 6. I'm going to get 45 over 12. And 45 over 12 is actually going to simplify to 15 over 4. And then for here, I'm going to have sine of 12 theta. And it's going to be 9 over 8 times 12. 9 over 8 over 12 which is 3 over 32. So this is 3 over 32 sine 12 theta, and that's going to be between 0 and pi. So when I sub in pi, I'm going to get 4, 5, 9 over 8 pi. Well, sine of 6 pi and sine of 12 pi are going to be 0, I think. Let's just double check that. Yeah, sine of 6 pi is obviously going to be 0. Sine of 12 pi is obviously going to be 0 as well. So all of those bits are going to be 0. So the area is just 4, 5, 9 over 8 pi. Because and then when you put 0 into all of these expressions, they're all going to go. So let's just get in a blank page so we don't get the answer spoiled. So the area, what did they call it? The area of the paint that we're going to need. So the painted area was the large square. Subtract the squiggle part plus the small square. So that's going to be 100 minus 459 over 8 plus 25. So it's going to be 541 over 8 pi. And this is going to be in millimeters squared. So let's multiply this by pi. In fact, let's do 541 pi over 8 which is 212.450 blah 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 millimeters squared. Now just think carefully about the conversion between centimeters squared and millimeters squared. A one centimeter squared is one centimeter by one centimeter. The same area is going to be 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters. So one centimeter squared is the same as 100 millimeters squared. So I need to divide this by 100 to make it go into centimetres squared. So it's going to be 2.1245 centimetres squared. And I think the question wanted it to two decimal places. Yes, it did. So it's going to be 2.12 centimetres squared to two decimal places because the conversion between millimetres squared and centimetres squared is to divide by 100. So we've got 2.12. Let's see if we got the right answer for this. Good. We did get the right answer. We ended up with this 2.12 centimetres squared that we've got down here. And there's the strategy, whereas the, you can see what's happened here. We've got the big circle minus the squiggle plus the small circle, and you come up with that 2.12. So the next thing that we will be doing is looking at tangents and normals, but that's everything on area and some really interesting area questions to try.